I go shopping for that off of which to feed make daddy proud. No one dares approach cause I'm so strong and mean and loud. I head to Iowa as an armed man to that he frees. I take things from the counter without even saying please. I walk up to the checkout to the girl wearing the veil. She whispers you'll be sorry and these items aren't for sale. I want to kill my neighbor or at least impose a tax. Well, she's really not my neighbor cause she lives across the tracks. She might be poor but listen does she have a piece of land and the people who stand with her are too weak to take a stand. I try to rally friends to this task a wise one shuns by showing pictures of her tool shed that just might be full of gods by promising them riches they could do for for a plea. But they said to me, fuck off, we won't enslave the ones you free. Last time I launched assaults, the ones who lived, I made them pay. But they couldn't submit payment, they're 10,000 miles away. So I cut off their supplies of food and medicine, play nice. A little nasty, but we think the end was worth the price. Now the orphans of my neighbor lay awake in the night breeze, and they dreamed of their lost parents and armed men and things they freed. The one who survived grew until that she was fully grown, and then she built a little tool shed, and she tried to She lies still, but the lessons of my weight and narrow stance are looming tall. She prophesied my power and my influence would fall. She told me that insanity would always act alone. She pleaded that her orphans wouldn't leave me to my throne. She said that in decline I should instead lift my own. She warned me that her little blocks of freedom weren't for sale.